I'll bet you're wondering how we got here. It all started earlier today. Rewind! Hello, ugly. Hello, governor. Hello, puppy. <laughs> my name is Kim Chi, and I'm here with my favorite local queen, T Rex from Chicago. Alarmingly local. Uh, we are here today at Still Rock local. To, <laughs> for the rest of my life. Uh, we'll be local. We <laughs> so always be there for you. <laughs> Where everybody knows her. Um, uh, we are here today to try uh, Roscoe's menu. Uh, they have just recently uh, redone the entire thing. It's freaking great. Uh, 16 items we are trying today. It's Every single one? Menu. No. Okay, most of them? We don't have the budget for your appetite. <laughs> I'll just say that. So let me talk about the crispy butter fries that I'm actually in the bath butter for. So. Each little crispy butter fries are coated in cheddar, bacon, and scallion for a little refreshing crunch. Topped with sour cream, coated with chili powder. You gotta make a perfect bite. We got mm -hmm. some ranch over here. We got some ranch to like dunk it in. Oh wow, gal. <laughs> I'm being very generous with this thumb. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh, you going fishing. All right. <laughs> All right. Cheers, mate. Hey! Oh, that is good. They're so... The sour cream is everything. Okay. Sometimes I, I, I used to just eat the sour cream, and they didn't, like, skimp on it at all. Yeah, it's the good cheese I like, too. It's not, like, the cheap Velveeta shit that they put on everything. It's, like, actual, like, cheese cheese. I hate when I order, uh, like, nachos or something, mm -hmm. and there's supposed to be cheese on it, and they it's like, not the cheap, plastic. shitty... Yeah! It doesn't taste like anything. No, this is good, and they're super crunchy. And this is like the portion is big enough where you can tell your friends who want to share fries with me. Yeah, but you eat up, end up eating the entire thing alone. Mm -hmm. The batter is nice and crispy. She is beauty, she is great, mm -hmm. she's got sour cream on her face. I mean, every single ingredient on it is so tasty that like you can't go wrong. But I could probably finish eating these if uh, we didn't have more to eat. I mean, I'm gonna finish eating these anyway. <laughs> <laughs> These are the R rods, which are you remember? Yes. <laughs> oh, do I remember? <laughs> so these are inspired by the Venezuelan street food taquinos, and these are little, basically it's breadsticks filled with queso blanco. Yeah. And over here is a wasacaca, which is a sauce made here in the house with avocado, garlic, cilantro, onion, all that goodness. Say wasacaca. Wasacaca. Nothing. Wasacaca. <laughs> Shall we cheers? Do Alright, cheers. All right. Wait, I want to taste it without the sauce first. Oh, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. These are so juicy. Filled. The cheese is so soft. Oh my god, I'm It has finish. like a little saltiness. I've been on my diet really good. <laughs> for fucking it up today. This is so good. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, let's dunk it in. Alright. I'm gonna be generous with this so I can taste the sauce. See, I could polish these off too. Baby, we're only the second course and my gloves are already covered in cheese. <laughs> these are, that sauce is so good. Introducing Roscoe's own Guy Fieri with a highlighter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Hi. Uh, so we're gonna be making wazakaka. Uh, it's a Venezuelan sauce uh, that we make in-house, uh, fresh to order. And we have avocado, mm. Mm. Uh, jalapeno, <laughs> minced garlic, cilantro and parsley that is finely diced. And we also have onions, salt, water, and a little bit of vinegar. Ooh, resident not included. Mm -mm. So yeah, so water, vinegar, we can take the uh, avocado. Dump that in, dump that in. <laughs> so those I scooped out already, we're gonna do this for the visual sort of a thing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. You can't tell me shit about these avocados. <laughs> oh, these are nice and green. Do I throw in these whole onions? Yeah, so you can throw in the whole onions because everything gets mixed together. So okay. just toss it in there, gal. Just throw them with your bare hands. Mm -mm. Okay, so then we're going to pour this. This is water and vinegar. Which one is water and which one is vinegar? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're both clear. All right, and then we're finally we're going to take the jalapenos. We're doing a full jalapeno in here. Yeah, so this is cilantro and parsley, finely diced. And a nice green. And so I think it's like very similar to uh, guacamole. Um, not really, actually. I mean, 
in the same way that it's green, but uh, no, so it is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, chef. Strikes again. Yeah, uh -huh. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Oops. That's for that one. Right. Uh, so yeah, no. So it's a Venezuelan sauce. Um, it comes from Venezuela. They put it on everything. So, all right. So we are going to put this in here. Good. Uh, Let me press it. Absolutely. Here we go. Oh, Also, you can smell the garlic. You're getting very bloated. <laughs> All oh. right, so we are done with that. So let's give it a taste. Mm, I'm getting uh, the finger of Kim's dirty glove. <laughs> the teeth of her soaked glove. Mm, yes, yes, yes. All the ingredients come together. Mm -hmm. It makes the sauce taste so fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how you make our wasakaka. Freshly made. All right, I'm still hungry, so let's go back to eating more food. Yeah, and let's get rid of Ricky. It's the onion. It's because it's mm -hmm. like sharp. Because this is so like so like rich and like and, rich. Rich. and this is like it's sharp. So sharp. Yeah. And if you're a fan of cilantro, like me, it's like a little heaven in a jar. And if you don't eat cilantro, I would eat these by themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good, but I think I'm good in the classic. See, I like it with the sauce. Yeah. Okay, this rules. So, do you notice how the shape of each of these are irregular? Because each one of them is hand rolled here in the house. <laughs> Welcome back to the Diners, Drag Queens, and Dive, dive bars. bars! Yeah. Sure. Sure. Wait, but Roscoe's not a dive bar. No. After remodeling, it's a classy joint yeah. where they serve amazing food like the quesadilla. So, I've heard. You Have you ever wanted to eat a quesadilla under a birdhouse? Broncos is your place. <laughs> what if I want to see mediocre drag queen? <laughs> what a side of quesadilla. All right, so uh, in case you, in quesadilla, no, um, this is a quesadilla. Okay, so this quesadilla has in it? cheese, chicken, and the little Roscoe's twist is ghost pepper. Yeah, and if you don't know, a ghost pepper is just a regular pepper that won't text me back. <laughs> What's the sauce? Have you been ghosted before? <laughs> Actually, no. Really, I have many times. I know, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. What is, the, what is the sauce? So this is a homemade salsa with a little wedge of lime if you want to freshen up a little bit. I'm a, I'm a lime. See, I'm more of like a sour cream kind of a gill. All right, let's taste it without the sauce first. Okay. Cheers. I could eat quesadillas every day. Oh my god. Oh, Look at that. Do you feel like how thick the cheese is? It's the ghost pepper. That's what it is. And the ghost pepper has like a little heat, but it's not spicy. Yeah, if you're not like a spicy person, mm -hmm. um, it's really not. Like this has spice, but it's not like burning hot. It's slow building. Oh, it does, yeah. You're I'm getting a little back of my throat. You're getting a little sweat on the bridge of your nose. <laughs> Whenever I eat something, yeah, that's that right. Happens, Get that yeah. wasakaka sauce all of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Get the like cheese all over my face. Toss the fire roasted salsa. Oh, it's um, muy bueno. Oh, look at that. Look at all that cheese. Oh, baby! <laughs> That's gonna be a yes for me, dog. So this is the Roscoe's burger. The appearance is giving me like vibes of like, it would be perfect for someone who just moved here from Iowa. <laughs> Why? And you like stumbled into like Because it's like classic American. Girl, yeah. you still have grease on your face. I don't care. The last one. Okay. Okay, so we have like a nice soft brioche bun, toasted crisp, but soft in the middle. Lettuce, bacon, some truck relish. What is sunchoke? Sunchok is a root vegetable, very similar to parsnip, but if you pickle it, it'll absorb the flavor of whatever you pickle it in. Oh, okay. And the best part, Roscoe's Original Cheddar Mayo. Which I have never heard of, but apparently they put mayonnaise and cheddar cheese in a blender together and mix it all up. I never heard of this, so I'm I never heard of it either. Yeah. All right, well, shall we? Welcome to our club. Wait. Oh, we have to, uh, ma magically, we are going to cut it. Um, Sabrina, the teenage witch style. Yes, we're gonna, uh, oh, do we have to go like, yep. okay, <laughs> one, two, three. Oh! oh! What privilege! Who would have thought? All right, All right cheers, we? mate. I'm so excited for this shit. I'm so excited about the cheddar mayo, the central relish, and the perfectly cooked beef patty. Right. Oh my God, that is a perfect medium. Look, 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 look. That little pink center, that is what you want in a burger. Go slow, gal. I don't want you to sun choke on it. <laughs> Your joke is a little cheesy. Oh my god, yeah. Did you feel that beef juice? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Mm. 
Shut the fuck up. The cheddar mayo, I'm a the believer. Mayo. I'm a believer. I would have never thought of that. Mm. A bunch of relish. It's like just acidic enough to cut through the rich sauce and, it's and the, the beer. The thick bacon. Not the wimpy bacon where you like eat right. it and you're like, did I just eat bacon? Right. This rules. This burger is so good. Wow, this is when you're like hella hungover and you gotta really get something done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so, look how juicy it is. Oh my god, this rules. It's just like dripping with juice. You see that? You see that? Oh my god. I love this one. Girl, you're about to get on your costume. Wait, come here. Fight me, you peasant. <laughs> Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Poppy. We got a little rascal toasty. <laughs> Why is it called a toast? What is it? Explain it to us. So toasty is what basically what they call like a grilled cheese in the UK. Got it. Or Australia. Okay, so the bread is Italian bread. Italian slipper bread. Italian slipper bread. And then outside crust is uh, Parmesan cheddar and bacon crust. This is my favorite thing. It's like, this is what, when you're making a grilled cheese, is like on the outside, like the crispy part. Well, they have an entire layer of that, which I'm about to fucking peel into. Look at the caramelization of that crust too. Nice and brown, <laughs> shiny. And inside is stuffed with cheddar and Roscoe's own cheddar mayo that we are raving about in the burger. Yeah, shall we dance? Let's dance. Let's pop the soap in. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so. Get, bitch. That's really good. Give it to me, Jen. That's a hot. I'm gonna pull your fucking hair off. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, so it's crusted on both sides. <laughs> it's on both sides. Oh shit! Roscoe's didn't come to play. Oh my god, there's so much cheese, I love it. Okay, I'm loving the cheddar mayo. Mm -hmm. And this <laughs> item is on the late night menu only, which is served after 10 o'clock. Yeah. Until the kitchen closes. Yeah, this is not something that sober people would just be whipping up at home. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly uh, drunk like, food. Yeah, and if you try to make this at home, you will catch your house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly a liability, so this is why we made it here for you. You're not going to the gym after this one. <laughs> when was the last time we went to the gym? Yesterday, you bitch. <laughs> All right, these are the crown jewel, I do believe. Um, the chicken tenders are my personal favorite. Uh, are you a chicken tender gal? Oh, girl. Who isn't a chicken tender gal? We have, uh, my favorite is honey mustard. Tangy, but not too heavy. Uh, we also have ranch, ba barbecue, house-made buffalo, and what's the difference blue between cheese. these two? Oh, blue cheese. Oh, I also love a blue cheese. Who doesn't love a blue cheese? Nice and chunky, I creamy. prefer blue cheese over ranch, actually. Me too. Yeah. Uh, shall we? Okay. The best part about chicken tenders is you can break it up to little pieces. So you don't have to look like a pig just chowing down the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to look like a pig. And if you want to be like a real fat girl, dip it in the buffalo sauce first. And turn it into a buffalo tender. And then dip it in uh, the blue cheese. Okay, I don't I know what it. village you grew up in. <laughs> this, but at my table, we don't do that. I grew up in Michigan. This is what they do. <laughs> Alright. I'm like tripping the sauce all over. I know what this tastes like. It's my favorite. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Mmm, a classic. The buffalo sauce does good too because it's really tangy, but it's not too acidic. Because some buffalo sauce just makes you thirsty like instantly. When I need some sustenance, this is my perfect thing because it's not too heavy. It's just protein, delicious, quick. My fave. Okay, so if the world is ending and you can only have one tender sauce for the rest of your life. Rest of my life? Mm -hmm. I think I'd go honey mustard. What would you go? I think I'll go for like a nice little ranch. Oh, I need blue cheese. Oh wait, that's ranch. This is blue cheese. Oh, so it's the one that you didn't <laughs> contaminate with your horrible <laughs> Michigan manners? You can take a girl to Michigan, but Michigan goes everywhere with her. <laughs> Fear Michigan. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this culinary journey. God, I'm so full. I feel great. 
you probably can't tell right now, but like back of my neck, it's like all meat sweats. Okay, you have <laughs> several times during filming, we've had to get the bridge of her nose where she started breaking a sweat eating that burger. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I took ghost pepper um, quesadilla. That was so good. Um, oh well, uh, big thank you to Roscoe's. Uh, make sure you check out the Roscoe's menu. Uh, they serve food uh, 365 days a year. Mm. Yes. Uh, oh, and also this is all available on Grubhub. A big thank you to Kim Chi for joining us. Thank you for Roscoe for feeding me. Yes, my name is T-Rex and uh, God bless you. Oh my God, I'm so full. Me too. No, honestly, but that's the best idea like that I've ever heard. You to get like delicious food off of Grubhub. Yes, that has been around for years. It's called, um, <laughs> yeah, takeout has been very popular. Um, we have drive throughs now in America too as well. Yeah, you don't have to cook everything at home. <laughs>